recording. Okay, lovely people. This is the group known as The Lines, and Wendy and I are here for the first week to just talk about your suite of four line drawings. And there's no right or wrong with this at all. And for some of you, it's probably more difficult than others. But the idea is that you're just playing around with line. And you don't have to make an accurate egg beater. It could be very abstract. But in this case, we're looking at Charlene's. And this first one really feels like the gestural quality that I was hoping for um, with a continuous or fairly continuous line um, for this object. So I think that's quite lovely. This one, this what is feels that? like, sorry, I was kind of said that this feels like a hand. <laughs> I was kind of like looking away and then I looked again and I'm like. I thought it was sorry. a signature. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a great one. Um, again, we, we're not seeing enough of this where there's a strong contrast, like something that's really bold and, and you know, a different kind of line. So this feels like a great contrast and so different than the first one that you showed us. I like the little mechanism over here. Kind of just like a clock. Another one, I feel good contrast. I think that um, I would encourage you to, you know, be maybe a little more careful with some of the gear mechanisms that you're doing, but regardless, I do feel the energy of this piece in a nice way. And I love that you keep switching it up from side to side. And this one, um, again, hope, hoping for everyone that this was the most experimental and I've, in your case, I've lost sight of the actual egg beater, which is fine. Um, what I appreciate is, in fact, it almost feels like um, a root vegetable at the base there, like Belgian endive or something, and then like a cross section of cabbage. Do you see that? Do you see yeah. that? Yeah. Um, but really nice. And only on this one, I would just love to see a little bit more of your heavier lines that would show up for a, a more of a pop. But yeah, like you're doing exciting. over here, yeah. and maybe something even more bold than that would be nice with the contrast of the super delicate one. Okay, nice sweet from Charlene. And next we have, I'm gonna butcher the name, Kern Deep. And I, I think I just got a message just now. So if there's nothing there, oh no, it's all here. There is. Okay. <laughs> I like that, Avid yeah. Baker. I wish we could just see your drawings a little bit better. Oh, there we go. That helps the fun chef. Okay, so I would love to see, you know, this is in, in essence, one type of line through this whole thing. I'd love to see something else in this contrasting a little bit more with it. Yeah, see, even on this, it's the same thing. You're using the exact same line um, for the whole thing. So I, I, will, I want to encourage you to have something that breaks this up, something really bold and, and contrasting with this. Yeah, it feels like a little bit of too much of the same. So this, I see what you're trying to do, but I'm, I'm guessing that this is, is there no collage in the suite? Nope. Yeah. Okay, so I think you misunderstood the assignment a little bit. Um, and I would say your commentary is nice and it's helpful for us, but think of each piece that you're creating for this class as a finished piece and that you want to have it feel like um, resolved or, or you know, even the phot photograph you know, very um, clean and keep your commentary maybe somewhere else like you did previously on an aside. And I feel like um, the fourth one was, you're starting to get somewhere with this, but you're just, I feel like you're, you're only using a pencil. Yeah, and um, I can see you've that. got 
yeah, you've got to use ink, you've got to use crayon, you've got, you know, really use um, different materials. And th this was supposed to be a collage of different lines um, that you had already drawn and collaged together. So we'll take a look at your experiments in the discussion thread, um, but, but I would say more time commitment on this series would, would be great. Yeah, like she said, um, I agree with the different explorations with the materials because like using a pencil is limiting you so much. Like even using something as ink will allow you to be like so much more messier and you'll get like interesting stuff on accident that you wouldn't get with a pencil, so. I will say that I appreciate your approach and the idea of, um, you know, think about showing emotion through these, you know, something that you're connected to, but you can really push the idea of emotion with line. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, next we have Shelby. Bold and, and thin, definitely. It's a very interesting perspective that happens when you do this. Yeah. Yeah, nice contrast. Oh, and this is the collage. Also, um, wonderful use of uh, contrast in here. I see that you have a lot of different types of line. Really nice. Continuous line. I think this is one of my favorites for everybody, just the looseness yeah. of it and, and letting go. I love the it's gears. They're not, they're not too worried about what it's gonna look like. Yeah. So it's a good thing. The gears on this one, I think are really wonderful. Almost like seed, you know, in, inside of, yeah. yeah. Nice. And this is, oh, <laughs> I think you had an actual egg beater. I see the type from the, <laughs> Actual egg beater. Again, I feel a great contrast of line here. Um, you might consider, you know, I see I see the heavy black line up at the top and then around the gear, but maybe think about um, it. Sep maybe only having it on the gear. I don't know why, but for for me, it feels weird at the top. It's a personal thing, but I applaud and appreciate the contrast of the of the lines here. Yeah, and this we, one right here is nice as well. It's a wonderful accent, definitely. I think that was it because we saw the collage, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Last but not least of the lines, we have Mariah. Mariah Tarantino. No assignment. Okay, that's it then for the group of the lines. So please make sure that you look at your the work of your peers and also um, comment on their work. Thank you very much.